Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel. To my subscribers, thank you so much for taking the time and joining me tonight. I really and truly appreciate your support, your loyalty. It really means the world to me. If you are new to my channel, I hope that maybe in the intro uh, to this video you saw uh, the different unboxings that I do and hopefully something there would interest you and make you want to maybe subscribe with that little red subscribe button right there. Give this video a thumbs up, everyone. And uh, please, I hope you come back. I would love to see you and have you join me again. So anyway, today I am doing my April 2019, my Scentsy Whip Box. And if you are not familiar with the Scentsy Whip Box, it's like a mystery box that Scentsy does once a month. You can get it as a one-time single purchase. Um, I've got mine added to my Scentsy Club order, so I get the whip box every month, but the items in my Scentsy Club, I kind of alternate. Now that I'm getting into the laundry products and I've got quite a bit of scent, scent bars already, but I want to get my favorites every month just to, I always have them. If there's discontinued bars, um, as long as I get them in while they're still being offered, um, I can add that to my club. So even though they are discontinued, I'll continue to get them every month. Um, I get like Scentsy, uh, the light bulbs, and now that I'm into the laundry stuff, the washer whiffs and the laundry liquid and the fabric softener. So I get those kind of coming uh, different times. Uh, sometimes some things I get every month, some I get like every two months, some every three months. But anyway, so the Scentsy whip box costs $30 and it would be $5 for shipping. But because I do add mine to my Scentsy Club order, between my order and the whip box, if I get up to $60, which is easy enough to do, then my shipping is free. Uh, the whip box, you're going to get a sample of items. You're going to get like five to eight items. Some will be full size, some will be samples. And it could be things that you've tried already, you know you love it, or it could be some things that you've never tried before, different scents you haven't tried. So it's really just a great way to try some different products and get some of your favorites. So let's get into this box. And the boxes that they've come in have been the same. Um, and it's a good size box. They're very sturdy. So you could use this uh, for regifting um, if you buy like sweaters or shoes or something you wanted to give some to someone. It fit perfect in this box. If you want to store like winter mittens and hats, it's a perfect box for storing things too. So anyway, inside your box, it's going to say scent with love. There's a couple of different languages here. You are going to get this little uh, paper insert. This looks like it's in the little shape of a little bud. And it's uh, different ways of saying live and love and scent and whiff. And on the back is just some information. It tells you about some of the, uh, the pods that are in here. And, um, and it says a Scentsy Whiff Box. Spring is the time of year when we do deep cleaning and clear out those winter cobwebs. So maybe there is a couple of uh, cleaning items in here for spring cleaning. And then it says about uh, doing a hashtag happy whipping like on Facebook and Instagram. Not really sure about what that means, but I know many, many people probably know exactly what that means. Oh, the inside. And Inside, I think I've got like calendars, there was like wrapping paper, there were pumpkin cutouts. This month, it looks like it is, it is a checklist. And it's different items to get you in the spring cleaning mode. It says spring cleaning can be more manageable with its nifty checklist with a couple of well-earned springtime breaks. So tailor, tailor the list to your home create a realistic schedule, and enjoy the brighter days to come. So there's things that you can check, and it's in like three different languages, like wipe the walls and ceilings, fly a kite, get outside and garden, launder window treatments. Yeah. So it's like fun things and things that you have to do anyway, just a little reminder. So it's a fun way to have that checked, a little checklist on your refrigerator. Maybe make that more of a honey-do list instead of a y'all list comes with this pretty purple wrapping uh, tissue paper. So let's uh, do that. And little airbags to keep everything safe and sound while traveling. And the inside of the box. It looks like we do have some nice things in here this month. So first, I am going to take out this. And this is a counter clean.
comes in a little spray bottle. And this is coconut lemongrass. And I have had this in the, uh, the wax bars before. So it's coconut and lemony, just a really clean smell. And I do have a couple of counter cleaners that I've used. And these are really like, uh, you can use it on your stainless steel appliances, like toasters, refrigerators, uh, scuff marks. You can use it on carpets, windows. So it really comes in candy and it really, it just smells clean and fresh. You know, like some, you know, other all-purpose all sprays. They're just uh, very chemically, like chemicals. So this is just a very clean scent. And because they make it in so many different scents, you can always get your favorite scent to match different bars that you use. Next one, I've never tried this one. This is a dish soap. Oh, my cap is loose. Ah, but I do have a thing there. And I've been thinking about trying the dish soaps, but I haven't done it yet. This one is uh, aloe, water, and cucumber. And again, it's a nice size dish soap. I've never used uh, the dish soap before, so I'm excited to give this a try. And aloe, water, and cucumber. And this is a really nice uh, bar scent as well. So it smells, it smells like aloe, water, cucumber, pineapple, and I think there's something else that's in the mix too. So that should smell really nice. And even though I've got um, a dishwasher, a lot of times I'll just do my dishes every every night by, by hand. So I do use these and it'll be just nice again to have a nice fragrance. And the last big item is here is the bathroom cleaner. And this is Blue Grotto. And this is a nice foamy bathroom cleaner. And I've even used it on, I've got white rugs uh, pretty much throughout the house. and. Um, had someone, I won't mention her name, but she accidentally spilled some red wine and we used the bathroom cleaner. We just sprayed it on and it came right up. We just patted it and came right up. So this is awesome. Um, in the bathroom, it's really good to, for like soap, scum and grime that builds up. You know, there's no way to get around it in your shower sometimes, even if you use like the, uh, you know, the shower sprays after it still has a way of building up on you. So this is nice foamy, it's clean, it cuts through that scum right away. The Blue Grotto I've had before too, so I think this is um, like a lush botanical and some citrus, just really nice smelling. And then again, the thing with the bathroom cleaners too is it's, um, you, again, you can order it in your favorite scents um, and you don't have that strong chemical odor. It's just going to smell nice and clean, fresh and pretty. Alrighty, what else do we have? We have a scent circle. And these are just really nice. You can, and even though they do have ones that you can put in a car, they're made especially for your car, you can still hang this in a car or if you've got a closet or just a small space that you need something fresh. This is nice. I've got some in my hall closets. This is Do We or Don't We? And, um, if I can open this. I haven't smelled this one before. This might be a new scent. And hopefully this plastic won't give me too much uh, trouble. Ooh, this is, it smells like cantaloupe right off the bat. So nice cantaloupe, but spice, not rosemary. Maybe basil, I'm not sure. I think it's basil and, and cantaloupe. But that smells really interesting. That should be Nice, and maybe one of my kitchen cabinets. And got a full size bar here. And this is in sugared strawberry, which is, happens to be the scent of this month. So, again, these have uh, the eight cubes in the back. It's solid like this, but you just bend them back and forth like this to separate the cubes. And then you just pop one out and place in a warmer. So, say, well, I got one behind me. So I have this one on. But you just pop the wax in there and then put it in your dish. And this, I haven't bought this one yet, um, but it is the scent of the month. So um, if you do buy it, where the bars are usually six dollars, it would be uh, like fifty cents off, I believe, or something like that. But this it smells really nice. The sugared strawberry. It's so it's got like that fresh strawberry scent, but also 
like she could lemons uh, so like a lemonade but not tart so that sweeter kind of lemon so like a nice strawberry lemonade very refreshing smell and just so you can see Raina I took that that one just accidentally popped out I don't know how it that one always comes out first on with me and we got some more samples for the laundry liquid and fabric softener and I've had a couple I use ocean quite a bit and jammy time is my favorite but I have been thinking of adding this one just to kind of rotate them in and even though they, they smell really nice sometimes your nose just kind of gets used to smelling them so the first few times you use it you smell it and then all of a sudden you don't so I like to kind of mix them up or mix them up every week so I've been thinking of trying this one and this one's lavender cotton and and I have this in the scent bars and I love it so it's a lavender and like a linen smell and it's just a really really nice fragrance very sweet so I'm glad I got this sample because I am going to uh, do my sheets in there this weekend with them and I got two of these samples and they say these are like a single use one you just pop them out but it's kind of like almost like two to three of these cubes so it's a nice sample so if you put it you can you know the samples are nice to get when you get um, little samples and you know maybe they go in the to um, the little warmers that you put up against the the wall the mini ones but these ones I mean you can cut it in three and put it in three warmers around your house or use it three different times so you really get an idea whether or not you like it this one is prickly pear and agave and I got this one in a bar last month this was one of the new fragrances this season and it just reminded me of the prickly pear margaritas that I had when I went to Arizona to visit my mom so it's a uh, it's really nice so it's a prickly pear the agave and it's just really really nice fragrance and I've melted this a few times already and I just love that scent and you also get a little heads up so this is called this one's called saddle up and this is actually going to be the scent of the month for may so if you get the scentsy club you get like a preview of what the uh, scent of the month next month is like so i'm imagining the warmer is going to be, probably be something to do with horses or cowboys maybe next month but saddle up so you think it must be smell like a fresh leather smell like a saddle so let's open this up and see what it smells like it's not as strong as I thought it would be so it's it's kind of sweet so I can still smell like a soft soft leather and maybe a musk like a light musk like a men's cologne musk so kind of like a leathery and musk so it's actually it's a nice fragrance it's not bad at all I think this is really going to smell nice when you warm it up so saddle up so that's going to be the scent of the month next month and that was, I believe was everything in my scentsy box so my my whip box so I love getting these whip boxes every month I like you know and I've smelled some of these fragrances before so I'm familiar with them but it's also a new product like I've been thinking about trying the uh, dish li liquid so and here I just got it and I've been wanting to try that different scent in the laundry liquid and they just happened to send the one that I was thinking of getting so I think it's a really nice it's a nice bargain you know you're gonna at least get the your thirty dollars back I think the laundry um, the dish soap I think is like ten dollars I think maybe the counter clean is ten maybe the bathrooms eight or I might have them mixed the scent bar is usually six dollars so I mean I you know you get your, your, your money's worth and it's just a great way to try different things plus coming to the house in the box with the tissue paper it just makes it look like you're really getting yourself a great gift for the night so anyway thank you so much for joining me 
you have any questions on Sensi, just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. If I can't, my daughter Raina will be happy to answer for you. Um, if you've got a consultant, that's really great. I'd love to hear about some of the products you get. If you get the WIF box, what do you think about it? Are you happy with getting it every month or do you uh, opt to get it like every couple of months? And if you don't have a Sensi consultant but you're thinking about it or you've got some questions, again, my daughter Raina will be happy to answer your questions. So thanks again for joining me. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic night and we will chat again later. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.